Yo, yo. <laughs> we got my lay in the building. What's up? What's up? I mean, the mics ain't on, but. Uh, yeah. Set myself up as well. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. What's up? We got my leg in the building hey, this morning. Hey, my leg, my leg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up? Uh, let's see. I, I listened to a whole bunch of stuff last night. Wait. And this weekend, I ran into some people on the street that knew what was going on this morning. <laughs> Had a couple callers call in. <laughs> Hi, what's up? So shout out to Colin with two L. Big shout out to San Jose Carl. Yeah, and also big shout out to Devin, man. He he gave me the inside scoop. I got some cool questions from bro. All right, but uh, my leg in the building. Let's let's start it off with an introduction to your music and who you are and. Oh, yeah, man, I'm from San Jose, East Side, you know, Motley, M-A-H-L-L-E-H. I am an alternative R&B hip-hop artist. I used to go by a, a sultry hip-hop, because, you know, it was like a mix of, like, soul and alternative, you know, and sultry. But, yeah, I've been doing this for a minute. As you can see, people know me in the street, you know, I'm known for what I did for a long time, because I was a little, little, little thing. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we were talking earlier about when we met. I yeah. do. I remember those two times. One time I was in the studio and you were handing stuff. The flyers. Yeah. Provide food when I was working out there. Yeah. 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 That's tight. And then uh, another time I just saw you at the. I was at the gas station. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> um. But yeah, let's see. I I did study. I did a little bit of homework. Uh. So, listening to your music. I I noticed that you got the soul singing. One of the songs you sounded like a jazz singer. Oh yeah, I love jazz. Let's see I'm with it. on the on the whoa on the whoa track. I like whoa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like whoa. I like that. But then also uh, you bring the lyricism. Uh, uh, I would say introspection. Definitely uh, taking a look inside, reflective, but positive. Yeah, try to be, you know. Yeah, bringing it back to positivity. It yeah. might have some like, negativity sprinkled in there because life. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Bringing it back is important. Uh, but let's talk about uh, when you started, some of your experiences. Yeah. Um, so I started off playing a like a little girl. I was like four years old when I picked up a piano. And then little by little, I was picking the strings, percussion. So by the time I was 12, I was like 11 instruments deep. So I, you know, I really got into music because like, I was like, you know, just the entertainment and a hustler. So I used to be like in front of Food Max and Safeway over there on the, like by Story and White when they had that shit over there. I'm sorry. Oop. My bad. We keep it pushing. We keep it pushing. So when they had that over there, uh, I would be out there with my guitar, just busking in front of the, the shop, you know, and just making money hustling. That's yeah. tight. So that, that's really what you know got me into making music was I saw money. So yeah, yeah. I can I can say the same thing with some <laughs> certain skills like that one right there. Mm -hmm. Like oh, yeah. what people money. turn turn on? <laughs> they turn on. Oh, I can change people's life perspectives here. They can yeah. spend spend a couple of uh, you know help me pay a couple of things. Heck yeah, Heck um, yeah. But that's tight. I didn't I didn't know that you were. A trained musician and oh, I'm not trained. I'm, just, I'm by myself. I learn my own. I li I just would be. I would lock myself in a room because I had no friends. <laughs> I mean, if I did, I would force them to do what I was doing because I'm like that. <laughs> um, how do you feel about Prince? You know. Oh yeah, I'm like I'm, I feel like a lot like I, my family would kind of compare me to Prince, like a like a female Prince, because they're like you do everything yeah. and you're so quiet and shy sometimes. But it took me a while to break out. And, you know, like I got into sales and public speaking to learn how to kind of break out of that because he never really did. So, yeah. I'm trying to be like that, like that's part of his. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So I guess your favorite one would have been the guitar because that's the one you. Were. Yeah, I guess like guitar is definitely up there. It's, it's easier to songwrite with guitar. So, but I love piano. I do love piano. Like it, I, the way the chords, I don't know, they just kind of flow a little bit better. 
That's tight. So uh, that could uh, segue into a question that I have about production. Wait. Like, because right now I see that you have a lot of producers on these uh, songs, but it might not have started out that way. Mm-mm. You want to talk about some of the early uh, production and just your experience up till now? Well, like, I started actually, like, behind the scenes, like, writing for other people's albums when I was, like, 12. And, like, because I was a musician around rappers, I had a whole edge to me, so I would, like, write hooks for people and tell them how to do it. And, like, you know, I knew composition. I, I studied that on my own. So I was always behind the scenes when it came to studio and production on that level. And then little by little, like, obviously, I started recording my live sounds and then putting them into, like, whatever I DAW I could found, or even, like, analog. You know, uh-huh. like I worked with like Tascam. That was the first thing I did with analog. I came into analog first. I didn't even start with a computer. So like that's but that's the that's the musician way. You know, growing up as a musician, especially out here in San Jose, they're like, you know, they're tough about that analog stuff out here. So. Yeah, big shout out to Bryson. Shout out to Bro. Yeah. That's my guy. Uh, that's the first place I learned about uh, analog. Anything mm-hmm. pulling chords and. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's see. Let's let's take a musical break right quick. The first track I have from you is uh, "Dysfunctional." Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Kevin production on that. Yeah, and also shout out to Devin. He said this is one of his favorite tracks from you. Yeah, um, it's deep. Uh, it's it's so bearing. It's uh, you use your pen on this one. I think maybe you I, I sure did. <laughs> I sure did. Yes. But uh, let's jump straight into it. This is the first track of the interview with my leg what's up let us find you where, where do we find everything you got yeah, i'm on uh, everywhere you can google me m-a-h double l-e-h all right check it out we got this song called dysfunctional right here on 90.5 fm ksjs No, no, that's cool. Oh, that's tight. That's so tight. You're prepared. Like, I need so spaces. Everyone is prepared, but I, I really like so it. Like, so so you know. so yeah, I appreciate so you uh, saying what you say about my music, man. I'm like, you so know like, so how to really like critique stuff. Get better with uh, when uh, I'm critiquing and I don't. Don't buy your bread. I'm just here to make it. I'm here to take excuses. Yeah, get keywords. I'm here to get excuses. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but uh, we had some interesting stuff that we were talking about while the song was playing. Um, the battle rap culture in Northern California, or in California in general. Yes, yes. Um, and a little bit more history of how you got into the game and uh, started, you know, your own way of expression. expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you had older people. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about some of your influences. Yes, yes, my influences. So, you know, I got to give it to my family. You know, I have, like, older, older like, big cousins, big nephews that uh, were rappers, you know, they're, like, you know, gangster rappers, but they used to, like, battle rap, you know. And I was younger than all of them, so it's, they used to go in on me, really. So after a while, like, I couldn't take, I couldn't take it no more. I, I had to defend myself, so I had to start battle rapping back, you know? And, you know, that's what got me into, like, writing raps, you know? But it wasn't until probably, like, maybe, like, 20, 2015, you know, I started writing, like, raps in a way of dysfunction. You know, maybe even, like, 2014, you know? So that was kind of more like a poetry, and then I turned it into like, yeah. Sorry. But, uh- what were some of the people that you listened to coming up? Um, Blue Jeez, Lauren Hill. Oh. You know, young Lauren Hill. Okay. Um, I was a bit, actually, you know, big with uh, Equipto. I was a big Equipto fan. 
Okay. Quick Dope Fan, Andre Nicotina, of course. Uh, Digital Underground. Shout out. Digital Underground. Uh. You know, and then of course, you know, I listen to The Rock, you know, The Rock scene too, like Big No Doubt, Nirvana, Green Day, stuff like that. And, you know, I gotta give it to like the Motown era, that shit, my, my, my scene. That's what saved my scene. The Motown, SWV, um, right. Music Soul Child. Oh, you oh, know what I'm saying? let's go. You know, you know, of course, Erica Badu. Neo you know, Soul. Yes, Neo Soul. Yes, it's a big influence. Very big influence as far as like my, my melody and all that stuff. Yeah, I could, uh, I could, what's the name of this one? Uh, the Like Woe track. And I was thinking of uh, Jill Scott and Lauren Hill and Erica Badu. Like, those are, you know, that's what kind of came to mind. Yeah. Um, oh, big one, Missy Ellie. Missy. Always, always. Like, for real. Like, cadence wise, <laughs> yeah. Missy Ellie. I think she's uh, one of the people who might be underrated. Uh, yeah, she is. I don't think she got enough roses. No, she don't. Whatever. She don't. But she's the best. Lil Wayne said it. Weezy. Quote him. Okay, shout out to Weezy. Weezy is one of, he's the GOAT for me. And he said she's the GOAT, so mm. I, come on. Come on now. All right, so I want to ask you about um, this next track that I had lined up for you. It's called Limpieza. Limpieza. Oh, yeah, Limpieza. Yeah. Uh, but also, my question about it was uh, the alternate title, or maybe a title that it had before it was yeah, called yeah, yeah, Limpieza. Yeah. yeah. Um, you want to talk about it? Yeah, the alternate title for Limpieza was uh, My Life Blues Me. Oh, okay. I didn't. I thought Bruja. Oh, yeah, that one too. Yeah, that's what we call it. Bruja, Voodoo Man. It's like the same. You know, Bruja is like the witch, Voodoo Man, stuff like that. Oh, the yeah. chorus and stuff like that. Yeah. So we had a couple, alter- we had a bunch of alternate names to that one. I think it's interesting uh, when artists uh, have a dope track and they might have an alternate name or switch the name of it. Like, yeah, yeah. There's some classics that have that. Oh, this is it. What? Definitely. Yeah. I remember Bruja was running around. That was the name of the beat. That was the name of the beat for that shit. And uh-huh. I remember I, we would call it like Blue Man on the side. Because I had the chorus and then that's how it was. And then I changed it to Limpieza because it's a Spanish word for like a cleanse. Yeah. So, a spiritual cleanse. Tight. Um, I noticed the production, like when the intro, you know, it comes in kind of slower. I'm like, man, I wonder what kind of song it is. And then you have cool juxtaposition. <laughs> ah, you yeah, had to bust out the juxtapose, <laughs> juxtaposition. Um, but yeah, I like the track. We'll probably jump into it in a second. But um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. yeah. Uh, let's yeah, let's just jump into this track. This one is called Limpieza. We got Malay in the building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait, man. Every every time we jump into the song, I need to know where we why are doing it. And, you already know I'm, I'm on Spotify, I'm on Bandcamp, I'm on SoundCloud. I'm telling you this because you need to it. You know, I'm everywhere. Whatever apps you got, your favorite apps, I'm everywhere. I got MySpace or Hey Space now. It's Hey Space? <laughs> it's Hey Space now. I Is got it really? Yeah, I got I got Beagle. <laughs> I got Twitch. I heard about Be Real. Be Real? Know, I'm going to get it. Whatever it is, yeah. that's next. All right. Well, check it out. You heard it here first. This is Lin Piazza. Uh, who's it produced by? Caviano. Yeah, it's a puzzle piece of EP. Baby EP. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get it. 90.5 FM, KSJ. Mm-hmm. I see. I don't have no snacks for you or nothing. No, I ain't working. For this reason, I don't want to be like. <laughs> yeah. Can I put on face? Can I put on this is what it looks like when I um, check it out. I'll be your stuff in there. Let's see, the first one was dysfunctional. You want to go with a remaster or regular? It's a regular. It don't matter. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is when I met you at home. Or maybe around the time. I just remember this imagery. You know? Yeah, that was, that was the, the single. That's what she wants to press on my eyes. The influence part of the struggle, the impressiveness disputed by energy, that's assumed with eccentricities polluted, relentlessly inconclusive, gymnastics of executed, decisions, gender reduces, educated, uncomfortable with the emphasis on confucius, penetrating special students. 
is demonstrating virtual group with sincerity for improvements. Polarities in the human is scary, but it's the truest. It's the ethics. Dispositions are susceptible. Discipline keeps you respected. Into sin we are defective. Millions will be deceptive. Bible means for intervention. Examine the upper mention of noble men's past expressions. Religion minus oppression are virtues and moral lessons. To refuse makes you neglected by misuse of introspection. Modest and humble servants. I'm sorry we don't deserve this epitome of the virgin. Consistent with what we're learning, discerning what is concerning. This thereby observe our warnings for turning the table turning. All those who inhumane is firmly burning. Bridges with words, existence, crap, the system. And in the sky is the limitlessness. Vicious the reminiscence of decades. talking about exclusives and stuff, you can find stuff on SoundCloud in different places. That you can find on all platforms. Yeah, you keep giving something to, like, uh... Come back to it. Yeah. Come Go down the rabbit hole a little bit, you know? Yeah, because some of the things I was talking about, like, I don't know. I don't know if I should put it on all platforms. <laughs> no, I feel that. Um, but let's talk about how um, some of the recording process uh, when you put out some of these tracks and these albums. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. What about the first album? That's this is my first EP, my debut EP as a as a solo artist, not a, like you know like front person singer. Yeah. Songwriter. This is my debut, just you know, just functional all the time. And uh, I came up. Uh, yeah, I was right. I was recording in 2016. I had a Fortify studio in a uh, Castle over there. Castle. Eight Castle. Yeah. yeah. Where Joseph Kane and everything. Yeah. And so I was, I was, I, I was getting A and R by a neighbor who was a patchwork studio associate, like with Atlanta out there. So like, you know, I was working, like getting A and R with him, and while I was doing puzzle piece, while I was doing puzzle piece, so I was getting a lot of professional industry like stuff in my ear while I'm making my first like step into like the solo artist. Like, right. I came in. Are you also writing songs for other people at this time? Oh yeah, definitely. I was recording other people and producing other people because I was running Fortify Studio. Like it was like a, a spot. You're a game. tracking engineer. I was yeah, I was a tracking engineer. Oh yeah, yeah okay. And, and I was actually like when they didn't have, I was like also a sit-in studio musician. You didn't have a drummer, but you want to have a sound. So I said I got it all taken care of. It's really producing. And then I went team up with Keviano and he would do the mix and master because he had a treated room for all that. So I was like, I would be checking in my room and take it to his room if you want to polish it up. And I sent him clientele, like I was running it back and forth with everybody. If somebody needed something super professional, I'm send to Joseph K, like whatever. It's really like, you know, it's just a matter of like keeping people in the building, coming and letting you know you're the, you're the plug, you the know? plug. Yeah. I've seen that before in, in multiple like, times. I know a cat who plays an instrument really well, and I met him in the studio center, you know? Yeah, uh, you know? That's what you get. Camera people, engineers, hey, you gotta be there. Go outside, put yourself in that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that sounds like the circuit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, So you put it out in 2020. Was that before the pandemic or during the pandemic? Nah, actually, I put it out 2019. And I had put it out through uh, a distribution. But my distribution, um, it kind of like. It wasn't working. I guess they didn't do it right. I got frustrated, so I was like, "Hey, don't just don't even do it." And then I re-released it like in in 2020. So I put it out at the end of 2019, and I took it off all platforms because I went through a distribution. But I didn't like the way it was going, so I said, "Just take it off. I'm just redo it by myself." I put it on DistroKid, so that's why it's on 2020. So it was like there's a lot going on as far as how I wanted to release it. Like I was actually pitching it to Capitol Records in like 20 like like 2018, 2019. And like I was gonna try to put it to them, but then like I didn't want to do that. It's just too major, and I didn't know enough. Right. So I just, I just try to find something smaller, smaller label, more independent label. So, 
And then when the pandemic hit, what happened? Uh, I wanted when the pandemic hit. I didn't know the pandemic was gonna hit, but I kind of like felt it coming. So like, I was just like, you know, like, cause I was watching the news in China before it hit America. So I was like, ah, you know what? Let me just drop Wait, music in China. Yeah, dude. you were there. No, or I was watching on on a, on like YouTube, cause I'm I'm like a big I'm into conspiracies, man. I'm, I'm so oh, like I've been knowing oh, stuff that happened oh, before. If you haven't, it, bro, okay. y'all be sleep. I'm sorry, y'all sleep. Wake the sun. Wake man, the what hell you, up. What you got for us? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I was watching it in like 2019. That's why it's called COVID 19 because it hit China in 2019. So in 2020, when the Grammy said when we got hit with the COVID in America, that's when it went. Oh, it's public, but it was already on the internet. It was already things being said about it. So like everybody was just sleeping on it. And then that's why I was like, hey, I'm gonna drop this thing. They're about to shut us down. I already saw it come. People was talking about it in the Reddit. <laughs> I was in the Reddit chats. <laughs> so like, I was just like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna believe it. I'm gonna drop my music. And I teamed up with my homegirl and she got an LLC. I was like, right now is the perfect time for you to get an LLC because we're gonna run this money up. Cause everybody's gonna, everything's gonna get shut down. People gonna be scared and we not. Cause you know, F, F, F the world, bro. Yeah. Like, let's go for it. And we did and we made our money. We made our money. Let's go. We made our money. Hey, we survived the toilet paper shortage. I was always toilet paper shortage. Come on, man. Welcome <laughs> to my life. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, let's see. But let's talk about... Oh, oh, car. Let's see. I took notes on this next track that we got. Oh, yeah. With CAC? Yes. Yeah. That's the latest. So, um, car. Uh, yeah. And it's a feature fe uh, from CAC, right? Oh, no. For him. Actually, I got hired by him to get on this. So, he paid me for this feature. He paid me for a bunch of features. Like I gave him package things, and um, yeah, so like this is one of the songs from that package. Okay, um, let's talk about some of the imagery you're using here. Carve your name, my name in your heart, or on yeah. your tombstone. Yeah, carve my name in your heart till they carve my name on the tombstone. Man, all right. So what's some of the uh, inspiration? It's legacy, man. I will like. The, you know, the song was supposed to be inspired by a legacy and what that means to us. So like, you know, that's the topic. So I went with that chorus because, you know, I, I think that's also a quote, it's like a poem. It has something to do with like, like basically like what like what I said, but I just kind of flipped it more to do it like, more like a song instead of a poem. Yeah. So uh, yeah, like carving your name in somebody's heart, it means like, you know, they're engraving. They're, they're always gonna be with you. Even when they go, like, you know, when you carve your name in someone's suit, so I'm like, they're still in your heart. Right. Like, that's forever. Like, you know, carve my name in your heart because they carve my name in your suit. Like, so I want people to remember me while I'm alive. Yeah. You know, and even until I die, I don't want people to remember me. Right. So, like, it's just, uh, that's, that's it. That's important. The whole, uh, the verse is built around that as well. Like, for me, like, how to find legacy. You know? I don't find legacy through children or my family. I ain't got that. Right. So, I don't find my legacy single person in the world, you know, and I find it through my art and my talents, and it's a gift, you know, it's like chose me, you know? Right. So that's how I find my legacy, and I talk about how I do, how I do think of, like, a solo person, you know, like, you know, CAC kind of comes from more of, like, a, a group perspective, like, talking about him, and he's got, I think he's got a daughter, so of course he's going to have that perspective, which is cool, and him as a father perspective, me as a solo person, everybody has a, a purpose for legacy out here, so, you know, find it. Yeah. Let's jump into this track one more time for the people who just tuned in. We got Male in the building. Hey. Internet plugs. You already know. Male, M A H double L E H. Let's get it. This track right here is called Car. Young Nab, baby. You doing cool? I love it. All right. It's great. Sure. You know. Beautiful. Is there something you want to talk about that I haven't? No, I want to see you today. I 
need me a goddess who's speaking melodic and reaching for comments, not feeling for comments. So being the topic, I see through these eyes, not even an option. Stop it. You a bad person, no need for discussion. Just show me the substance of people you fuck with and leave me the judgment. I'm deep in the subject, I keep a discussion. The beat'll be popping. Keep it a hundred and reachable strongest. Deep in the stomach, you feelin' the flies. You keep it that side like butter. I we never hypnotized, I wonder. When we dippin' in the highs of blunder. I built till I die, no comfort. Resilient drive, we come work. Like, like sometimes we think that we know, but we don't feel the blindfold. I learn, I build and I grow. I'm not a hypnotized clone. I flow and fill a silo. When my scrolls kill a tight poem, and I won't hit recline no until I finish my road. Oh, I need no more. Till they carve my name. Yeah, we still live. does not belong in the water. Respect the ocean and don't take it for granted. Be the difference and don't litter. Save the animals. Save yourself. This message is brought to you by 90.5 FNKSJS. That's dope. Hey, respect the animals, respect the environment, respect yourself. And uh, shoot, I'm glad you know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. But um, shoot. That last track, you know, we carved your name in our hearts and until until you gotta carve it on the tombstone. Yes, yes. Uh let's let's talk about some more of what went into it. Like, cause in order to get this good, in order to make connections like that, imagery is a word. Um, yeah. you had to have taken it serious. Let's talk about when you started taking yourself serious in 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 the music world and when you decided that the move to make is to pursue this music, no matter where it takes you. Yeah. Well, as you know, I was talking earlier, I was making money here in San Jose already, you know, and I felt like the middle is like a cat. You know? I just wanted to make more. And I needed an industry, you know, it's not really an industry I had. So, you know, it was, you know, shout out to Zoe, he was in, in Army at the time. You know, you, you gotta get out, you know, you gotta you gotta expand yourself, like you gotta get a taste of the industry, like you gotta go, you know, and a part of me didn't wanna go, but I also didn't have much here anyway. So it was like, what was I gonna do really? You know, you know, so I I needed change. I needed to force myself out of my comfort zone, even if I was gonna miss people back home and miss out on things, you know, my city's gonna change, you know, and I was gonna miss out. But, you know, it was kind of like the risk I was willing to take so that way I could learn something, you know, I don't have to just go to school, like I could actually work from the streets up, you know, do it my way, you know, how I'm comfortable and enough to do it and learn. You know, you gotta know how, how you learn, you know, you do gotta be studious, you gotta take it serious, you know, they're, they're, they're like, you know, I came here with notes, you know, I take the initiative, you know, and I've always had that about myself. And sometimes other people in different places, you can learn from other people. You know, they give you a, another edge that your own city can't give you. And you can bring it home, you know. That's the thing, like, people, they leave home and never come back. But I'm not like that. I like to come home and try to teach the people here. Yeah. And influence them, like, hey, if you need to leave, go ahead. If you don't need to, don't. You can still learn. You know, that's why I come back. You need to learn from me. You know? Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about that more in depth about being an independent artist. Uh, when you did start making that those moves. What about the support, the lack of, mm. uh, let's just hear what you have to say about it. Well, definitely, I felt like support kind of varied, you know, like sometimes, like the same people who were supportive, sometimes would lose faith, 
you know, because like I said, like, you know, they're not used to seeing people blow up, but, but you know, especially me out here, you know, I have big dreams, you know, so sometimes they would be supportive, but only to an extent, you know, and that was hard, you know, that was really hard. But I think overall, like, being an independent artist was a way for me to, like, stay in control of what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do things. You know, once I started getting a taste of the industry, once I left, you know, I realized, like, hey, it might not be a bad thing that there's no industry over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's not actually, a, you know, so it's like, I don't want to change that. It's like, it, there's an advantage that we have, but I also, people need to do step, step their game up still. So as an independent artist, I, like, I had to kind of see where I could fall through the cracks so that way I could come up because I wasn't going to do it trying to follow anybody else's footsteps. Right. You know, I had my own way of doing things. That was big on, as an independent artist, was finding my own way. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what about the peaks and valleys? Uh, I'll refer to some of your lyrics here. I don't have the exact one. I didn't write it down like I wrote down the name of the art. But um, you're talking about the positivity. In one of the songs you're talking about, the only way that you can see it is like having a delusion of positivity or something like that. Um, a delusion of positivity. Or, uh, having nothing that, that term dysfunctional like if you have nothing uh, if you have nothing then you have everything like that maybe it's in restless oh maybe it is in restless oh oh yeah restless it's, it's, it's a lot of bars in there um talk about delusion of like basically telling yourself faking it till you make it yeah That's, I, I believe in that like happiness is a choice you know you gotta choose happiness even if it's nothing to be happy about like find it it's somewhere yeah, it I is, like that. It's somewhere. You know, some people like, you know, like I'm a big believer in, um, you know, you train yourself to think a certain way. You can untrain yourself to think a certain way, too. Like, power of mind is, is great. You know, we, we sleep on ourselves on how powerful we are with our mind. Yeah, it's like the person that can and the person that can't is really the same person, but you think about it different ways. Exactly. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, I wanna hear the rest of this. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's so did you write this did you write this when you were I mean not to I don't wanna disrespect the crowd, right? But did you write this when you were born? Uh I wrote this I Were you actually rested? Uh I was I, I was trying to do a project with another producer. You know, I was trying to get my get into Capital Records with this production. I was also gonna look at with my book piece, so I was just like trying to make a, like two projects in one, capital records, so I had multiple projects in So Restless was forced out of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was forcing it because I was like, I got a timeline, I got a deadline, you know, I got I to gotta get this done. So I was in the studio just like working and I'm like, man, I'm restless. Like, I can't even think I'm pushing lyrics out of me, but I have to make it, I gotta make it, you know? And, I, and like, I was just up, just like, just jittery with, with creativity but also like with visions of the future like excitement you know what i'm saying yeah. not like real visions like i'm psychic or nothing but <laughs> like as far as like you know well, you said something about uh, predicting the pandemic hey you might have hey, that, hey yeah. man look at i'm i'm a genius i'm not psychic just because i know numbers and sometimes you can kind of calculate things it don't mean i'm a clairvoyant okay <laughs> yeah. um just a comment that i just thought of right here you said this song was kind of forced out of you. It reminds me of a, a famous story. I don't know how famous it is or how you can comment. But the person that wrote that song and went, I'm not going to write you a love song because yeah. you asked for it. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of the story behind that yeah. is like similar to this one. Like, similar. I'm not trying to write this for you, but let's get it done. Yes, exactly. Uh, so, without further ado, let's, let's check this track out. It's good to have that person like that insight on this track as I didn't know this before right now alright so let's check this out Restless from Malay uh, let's get the plug one more time if somebody just to win M-A-H-L-L-E-H that's Malay you can find me everywhere hey you know Ray Riz? Ray Riz that Ray. sounds very familiar oh, okay he's a he's an artist out of San Jose it's his birthday Big happy shout birthday out to yeah <laughs> Keep it locked, 90.5. Stay away from drama 
extended generation we have no relation replacing the patients with consideration creating better situations not up for debating amazing how i push up through the pavement just to say that i am lucky for what i have is an understatement only few let the jewels deliver the fuel instance of abuse never cease to come to love to stand by the truth the tool is to let it move you not to rule you keep it driving to the car pull and keep it moving I was outside for so long. I done got used to the outside, and I'm in here, and I feel hot. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't, I don't know what particular order we should go in, but you got some performances coming up. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be um at the uh you know the tank shop, Yannick Jones Tank Shop. Yeah, bitch. I don't the tank is shop. <laughs> hey, you gonna be in here next week? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'm I'm, I'm gonna tune in definitely. Hey, it's connected. It's oh, a whole boy. bunch of people connected. Yeah, you gotta yeah. stay connected. Yeah. So Devin had a show with this cat named Xavier. I interviewed them both. You had a show with you got connections with Devin and yeah, Yannix. Yeah. And Yannix is next week. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, wild. We always got to, and, it's, and a lot of us were from the east side too. Like you can't, you can't. That's just, it's, the sounds like it's big, but the east side's still not that big, you know. So we, we stay tapped in. And we seen each other, you know what I'm saying? We see each other, even if we don't do music together. We still be seeing everybody. I've been living in San Jose for a long time, so it might be bad that I don't know this. But are we talking the east side over by? Is that off of Lum Rock? When when Santa Clara that part too. turns <laughs> when. Past the McDonald's and the church. That part too. Yeah, we can, we can, we can consider that part too. Well, what's the east side? What's, I what's consider the, the side? whole east side. I'm talking about from like where it touches the south side to where it touches the north side to where it touches downtown and goes all the way in the foothills. San Jose love right there. Come on, come on. That's the whole, that's for me, like I was all up in the, the streets skating on a fixie, you know, just rolling. Like, Fixier. you know, exactly. Come on, man. Like you, people be mobbing. I've been mobbing like that since like 13. Hey, I got a question. This is off of the, this is not on the list. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. How do you feel about, like, the tech companies, let's just be specific, Google coming out here and... They ruined the BTA system. Like, why do we not have day passes no more? Like, why is, like, a day pass, even if we did have it, it's in a coin and you can't get it nowhere? Like, it's all online. Like, people would be buying, like, month passes. You know why? Because tech take his all month all year whatever so like what about the everyday person like i don't want to be getting the month pass a year pass like what the heck man like you and it's like why is it so expensive out here like socal is like so much cheaper and like that's hollywood how is hollywood cheaper than the silicon valley and like how do we not have entertainment for like the youth out here like how do you bring all this money out here but you can't bring any positive reinforcements to the actual community and the community is going to be the one that's going to mess up your whatever contracts you have with these outsiders because they're the ones going to come here and make sure they get what they don't got so if you don't want no problems you might as well give them something to do because that's the problem with a lot of people out here we ain't got nothing to do you know took our venues you know took everything and put it in google put it in facebook i gotta get a gig in facebook so i can get on a big stage oh no come on man stop playing with us the city need to stop playing with us let's go that's all I got to say. That's what I got to say. Oh, that's cool. That seemed like a really good question. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm very passionate about my city. And, I, and it took for me to leave for me to get passionate about it. Because 
Sometimes you stay here and you, you grow animosity. I'm trying to be like that. That's tight. Um, and um, that's the difference. It's a lot of things that have been shut down since that deal has been made, too. Right? Mm -hmm. Where's Johnny B's? Where is it? Where's Johnny B's? Where? I'm about to make a book. I need a trap shop. <laughs> Something. Come Somebody on. Somebody point me to the nearest trap Where's shop. Where's the house shows, man? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. At least bring them back, too. But I do have to give a big shout out to publications like Content. Uh, I don't know if the cloud is still around. Shout out to the Metro. Yeah. But I do, I do see kind of a resurgence of like, not even a resurgence, but they're trying to put more importance on the arts. Yeah, they do, as far as like, and I, I do see that, which is cool. Like, I wish I was more like visually art inclined. I'm not, I'm, but that's not my thing. So it's like, that's cool and all, like for people who are really into that. I think that's important, but like, you know, what about the music? Come on, man, let's take that noise ordinance down. <laughs> Oh, oh, I think uh, recently something about the cruising law. Oh, they brought that back. See, that's like, yeah. I'm, I'm with that, you know. That's recent. That. that is very, very recent. It was very historical. That was very historical. I think I was traveling. I was on, I think I was on a bus. I remember I was on a bus when I saw the, the little announcement for it. Yeah. I mean, when I first came in San Jose, too, I was thinking, like, man, what, how are you going to say no cr cruising yeah. on the street? I just thought that was a weird sign to look at. Yeah, right? Ain't it? And then when you look at the history, it's like, dang, y'all really shut something down. It's like historical, like, like this was like the the first, the first of the crew. And you just really wanted to shut the whole operation down because it's like, in control of it. Sorry. But let's see. When we get back, I want to play this song called, like, whoa, I got to make sure I stick to the schedule. Of course, of yeah. course, of we, course. We doing it right. Yeah, yes, we yes, doing yes. it right. It's 2023. We got it right by now, huh? It's our first to tune in, but bad food makes us lethargic. We swinging harness with our loosens, playing with our chance to heal. This to all my millennials. Oh, yeah, we still live. Hey, we might be able to do this one with my sources. This power in our choices. Rhythm comes with struggle and no strong enough to voice it. Was driven by uncertainty, but really have to learn to be alone. I'll be way down by the glove. I'm not just trying to get inside your head, I'm trying to probe. If gossip is with God, it's in this mess, then it might get us out the hole. And so we reap what we sow because we think what we know. See, I be fishing for knowledge, not everybody gon' bite. The only way I've seen to swallow all this truth if it's hype. And if you really don't like it, all I can say is, oh well. Been letting demons feed your spirit, you've been under a spell. And I know how it is, I've been corrupting the mind. It seems crazy, but you gotta manifest your own life. And that's what someone told me, and that's what I tell it to you. The gossip, what you want, then I'm a gossip the truth. Man, you got me feeling something. Man, you got me feeling some way. Oh, you know we always moving too fast. So we keep it baby cause we choosing to pass. Man, you got me feeling some way. Yo, you got me feeling some way. Oh, you know we always moving too fast. So we keep it girl because we choosing to pass. You wanna talk over the end of your track? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's 90.5 FM KSJS. We got a couple more tracks uh, to showcase this morning. We got Malay in the building. Yarn yarn. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about some work that you might have coming up. Oh, yes. So, today I am giving you the first scoop and the first official announcement for my debut album. It's going to be dropping through a couple labels, uh, distribution through Empire Records, uh, Troubles Music, Child Troubles Music, you know, Study Modern Entertainment. Troubles. Yes. Uh, that's, uh, uh, so the album that I'm going to be dropping is going to be drawn on this uh, whole collective of labels. So, you know, Child Troubles Entertainment. Your boy Capone. And um, yeah, the album is called Show Love. It's S H W L U V, acronym. It is uh, six letters, and the letters are for the, the six senses of the body. I know we think we only got five. We got six. <laughs> we got six. What's the sixth one? It's spiritual. Okay. It's spiritual. We all got it. It's instinct. You know, yeah. instincts. 
so uh, the six senses and um, there's 12 tracks and the 12 tracks all talk about the 12 universal laws of the now I got you know, I'll put my twist to it you know I'm, I'm gonna be all talking about the senses as well in my videos you know I got six videos dropping so uh, we're gonna be uh, dropping the actual album audio album on March 24th that's gonna be a Friday make sure you know you tap in with me you know get your free save on you know, i'll let you know you know let me uh, you already know but yeah that's you know and then the show love actually the acronym it stands for sharing humbly with love unconditional and value let's go that's tight um how many let's talk about the process a little bit mm -hmm. how many tracks did you have to whittle it down like 50 and then I like like I have a I have a, like a thing with this specific album that I like chose the song titles before I even started writing to begin and I made sure which songs were talking about which law so each title and law was already chosen and it's specific place in the album was chosen before I even started writing about it and the reason why I did that is because you know in the in the album, when you lay out all the tracks, uh, there's, a, there's a message for you, there's a code. Oh, wow. There's a code in the in the way that it's laid out, so you won't have to get the album and see what I'm talking about with the code. And that way it's cold. Yeah, huh? so I got like, there's a lot of concepts, so like, you know, I'm, I'm a conceptual person. Same thing with Puzzle Piece, I, I did a very similar thing with Puzzle Piece, and same thing with my Honda Express EP. You know, this, this right here, the show Love is my first album, my first debut full-length album, you know, so. Yeah, it, this is one I wanted to kind of really go hard, so like, yeah. like I wanted to challenge myself a lot. Uh, how do you feel about it? Like, are you nervous? Yeah. Are you excited? All of them. Definitely. Very nervous, very excited, very focused and determined. And I know I can't let too much get to my head. I got to keep my head in the game. You know? But I also got to know to appreciate. Um, you said six videos coming with it. Mm -hmm. I actually shot one of them through a Noble, Noble, Noble Cinema Studio in the Vallejo. Shout out Novi. Yeah, Novi, yeah, you know. Oh. You know. Yeah. Little Jim is, uh, I knew him for a very long time. I haven't talked to him recently, but like, I'm talking about before he was grown, you know. No way. Shout out to Novi. Shout out, hey. Um, hey yeah, so like, that track is, um, I got Listen on the, on the album. Uh, artist out of Sunnyvale. It's, it's pretty popular, you know, especially in, in the vegan community. You know, he's got a lot of, a lot of albums about vegan. Listen, L-Y-S-N, you know, Question, out. question. Are you vegan? Nope. Oh, okay. I should be, though. Probably out there. <laughs> Depending on what you eat. If you eat potatoes, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. Let's see. So we got a couple tracks left. Um, let's talk about Silk a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Silk, yes. Uh, smoothest, illest, legend known. Smoothest, illest, legend known. That's why I put in the, the chorus. So it's, it's a remix, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a feature or are you that, That's part of the package deal with CAC, yeah. Okay. It's like another one of the songs that I got hired for. Yeah. Or, you know, I'm going to work with that, definitely. Yeah. All right, well, let's jump into it because I got a couple things. Let's see, maybe maybe I can get you to spit one of your unreleased verses off of your new uh, Show Love album. Oh, yeah, I'll do acapella for you. Oh, yeah, let's I'll go. Do acapella. All right, well, we got to jump into this silk. We have My Lay in the building. What's the socials? What's the. Oh, you already know M A H double L E H on everything. Yeah, let's get it. Keep it live. <laughs> It's cool. I didn't mean to rush. Oh, of course. It's alright. As long as I got that out, that's perfect. Everybody has a dream, but she shared with me that it's a pleasure when she be 
represent me with a G Telling me the melody I speak Definitely sweet Never let it stress her with a king Never let a second get to beat Beat in her heart Here can't keep us apart But can't bring her along So I leave her with a song And I'm gone New city, new love Never assume that we moving too much Never were grown So we're losing a touch But forever she don't When it's just two of us And some of the rubble Or maybe we're filleting No soup in the cup Come to rain for days So consuming the love We do with no rush But we do with enough Us Cool crews in the club Lush My crew with the buzz Trust us What it do moving up We plus We zoom in the clouds We puff Puff and moving the sound And trunks Trunks and doing it loud We bump Bump Doing it loud We bump I gotta do this shit right quick. Oh, right now. Oh, yeah, you wanna read this thing again? Yo, Don Pine. You think you know what it takes to have A1 quality on the airwaves? Whatever your answer, you must first answer to the Don and hear what he has to say on his show. Dawn time, every Thursday, 7 to 10 p.m. Only on 90.5 FM, KSJS, or online at ksjs.org forward slash listen. Enough said. Yep. Big shout out to Don Time and, and Tim Plito. That man uh, is doing some things and he interviewed uh, Babyface. Ooh, cut. Oh, Babyface cut. Oh, bro, yeah. Babyface cut, man. Oh, uh, shout out. Carter, right? That's like that's like one of my uh, daily listens. I I just I be bumping uh, Deja all the time, like for real, for real. That's tight. That's Bay love. That's San Jose love. That's support. And she's a dope MC. <laughs> like I saw her on the way to the bar or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Any, any given bars. Any given bars, yes. Yeah, man, that's tight to support. But let's let's t- let's talk about some stuff right quick. You got any shout outs you want to give? Oh yeah, yeah. Shout out to you know the labels, my management, Steady Mob McGinty, your boy Capone, Troubles Music again, you know. Poetic Mobile, you know, that's the LA uh, agency I'll be working with, you know, shout out to Phil 100, you know, my Fortify Studio team, DJ Yo 408, you know, uh, our producer Six, you know, uh, and uh, my city, ESSJ, you already know. Alright, and then kind of on the way out, kind of wrapping it up, to the people who might be in similar situations as you, or looking for inspiration, or they just want to know how to get further than where they are in some of the same areas as you. Do you have anything you would say to somebody looking up to you? Yeah, I would say don't look up to me. Stop looking up to other people. Stop comparing yourself to other people and focus on what you got to do. And ask yourself this. If you're doing music, are you really a hobbyist or a real, is this your career? Because when you're working, put in the work. And if you're not gonna put in the work, get out the way and stay at home, stay doing it a hobby. Don't try to run with the big dogs because you're gonna get in the way. So whatever your answer is, stay in your lane. Like really. And just like, you know, if you're doing it for the love, then always do it for the love. Don't switch up when the money comes around. You know? Word. All right, man, let's see. We got one more track, Zoink Kid. I had a question about that because I didn't know what that was. I wanted to, I, I listened to it a couple times. Zoink Kid, that, it sounds like it might be. You want me to, you want me to spit that one for you live? Nah, you want to hear that one live? Nah, nah, I'll spit, I'll spit nah, some I wanna hear, Yeah, I want to hear something new. Ooh, I hear something new, I'll give you something new. Yeah, all right, what you got? Let's see. Let's okay, see. okay, let me see. This, uh, I'll give you acapella. Uh, acapella right here. We got a couple beats of you, you know? But nah, yeah, yeah, nah, that. this is from, this is from uh, my Show Love uh, album. So this is this is off the track. It's called Supernova. It's with Clear One Hundred, you know, by the South Central. So uh, this is it. Right, here we go. I'm process expression, cause existential, external assessments, myself protecting. Circle so small, man, I'm barely stepping in it. Cross the line in the middle. That's a sign you're not permitted. 
see it through the phone. Yeah, they feed it what you scroll, what you keeping in your soul, what you keeping in your home. When the knock is at the door, you gon' use a peeping hole. You gon' think before you speak to someone you don't even know. All right, that's it. <laughs> right on, hey. That was exclusive. I don't think I've had anybody rap a, a cappella in here. Hey, that's the first. Molly did it first. Yep. And um, album coming out March twenty fourth. March twenty fourth. Tomorrow at the Tank Shop. Big shout out to Lewis on his way. But I have to say thank you for sliding through. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I love that you prepared. Man, you're on time. And um, one more time for the people who might be tuned in. You know, how do we find you? Where? M A H double L E H. That's my lay. I'm on everything, whatever you got. I'm sure I got it too. And let me get a drop. And my lay on K S J S. You feel me? 90.5. All right, this is the last track, and I got to get out the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. 90, 90, 90 All right. Ooh, thank you. Uh, of course. See.